Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, this video, I'm gonna talk about the. We're gonna start and uh, talking about the core modules, which is uh, the APIs, uh, not the JS provide to us. The first one I want to introduce to you is called uh, FS, which is the file system. Uh, you can use this one to read the file, to write the file. So let's take a look at uh, the example of reading a file, okay? okay. And uh, inside node, most APIs, it will have uh, two versions. One is a synchronous version. The other one is asynchronous version. I will show you um, both of the versions of reading a file here. In order to use that, first is use, uh, you have to include this file module in your application, okay, require. And after that, you can using read the file sync. See here, read the file sync, read the file. When you sync S, Y, and C, it means uh, synchronous APIs, okay. And here you can, uh, let's create a file here called uh, 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 name start txt. Then I will give um, my channel, my channel name, okay? So here I will give uh, name start txt, okay? And uh, you can give a uh, What's the thing? Encoding, which is to tell how the values inside the TXT is being stored in a binary, okay? Then I will give a const uh, names equals, and then I will use console.log names. Okay, now let's run cdfs. Uh, node app .js. you will see miss xing this is a synchronous version sometimes a synchronous version is also very useful and we need that like when we're using https we have to give the certificate right and the private key in order to do that you have to make sure the files are reading are ready Okay, in that case, you must use uh, synchronous. Okay, asynchronous doesn't work. And uh, the other version, uh, we were using asynchronous. This case, yes, doesn't matter, read the file. Okay, and take a look at this one, the read the file. First is taking a path, is a path, you give a string value. Second, you can give encoding, okay, and you have a callback. And to call back, give two function. One is a arrow, the other one is a data. Data by default is gonna store in a buffer, which is a small container where hold the information, okay? I don't want to go very deep on like a buffer, like a stream or things. You can take a look at the APIs by yourself. I just like directly go through the API. So here, we will give the encoding and the, 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 the path, and we give callback. The callback have a certain convention in Node. The callback in uh, Node.js, the first argument is always the arrow. Okay, if it has error, it will set the error. If it doesn't have any error, err here, err here will represent, it will equals to none. So here we will read the same. Yeah, yeah names.txt and you can we can give like encoding right and we can using utf8 okay and here we can give a callback you can using error function or you can using not error function okay uh regular function anonymous function okay uh -uh. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, we don't need to do that this way. Because which one holds the data is this one, okay? So if uh, error happened, we will throw this error. Otherwise, we console.log data, okay? 
And now let's run again. Uh, let me show you another thing. So I got a lock and expect what's gonna happen. You will see Miss XNG, which is this synchronous call, and the end is here because this is asynchronous, is a callback. Okay, callback will be executed once the main stack is empty. So it will execute end first, and it will see Miss XNG. Okay second but now if i change something that doesn't exist you will see it we are gonna have error see here you are through error see here and the big no such a file or directory okay this one will hold the error you can do something if you don't want to throw you can like a console.log like err it's gonna happen here see here err and data is undefined because we don't have any data, right? So uh, this is one. And uh, since we are talking here, I want to also talk about um, talk about. Let's let's do another video. So that's it for this uh, read file. And uh, next one, probably I will change the code a little bit to add another module called the path. Okay, thank you for watching this video. The source code is in the description. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.